information on a high flying daredevil met with handcuffs when he landed. Ted News was there today as the man base jumped off a 500 foot tall tower crane in the East Village. Our tennis reporter Matt Boom has more of that incredible video and what the man told us when he landed. He's jumped. Uh, got a good shoot. Our breaking news tracker was rolling as the base jumper soared over the East Village. I thought Batman came flying or something. Not quite a superhero, it was Nicholas Marinkovich. But like Batman, police were not far behind, citing him for trespassing. I do it pretty much as often as I can. Over 12 years, he says, this is only the second citation he's ever got. It was a big deal, apparently. Everyone got real wild up about me having a good time. With new high-rises popping up all around the city, there are new targets for thrill-seekers. Marinkovich made the jump off the unfinished second phase of the pinnacle on the park apartments. The first tower is currently the tallest apartment building in the city and was the site of another base jumping attempt three years ago. Around the same time, four base jumpers were caught off the Coronado Bridge by Harbor Police, but they weren't cited. Police unable to find a law expressly prohibiting base jumping. For Marinkovich, who calls himself the professor of adventure, it's a thrill he likes to share. I teach like Marines with PTSD, people who have PTSD. I run a small organization that uh, helps people with uh, certain types of therapy. Dangerous, yes, but he says... That's the point. You see, avoiding danger in the long run is no safer than outright exposure. In the East Village, Matt Boone, 10 News. We also reached out to the, the uh, developer of that tower, Pinnacle International, about their security procedures. We have not yet heard back.